Hello. <clears throat> Hello. This is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today we're going to take a look at Rare and Endangered Plantimals, published by The Coloring Hive and illustrated by Rodana Planka. This has a nice soft matte cover. The back shows some examples of pictures that can be found inside. There are 25 single-sided hand-drawn images in here, and the book is copyrighted 2020. The book is printed on Amazon paper, and therefore not perforated. We start with this book belongs to Paige, and we have a title page, and the same with all Coloring Hive books. It follows the same format at the front and beginning. It has a copyright page about the artist, thank you, social media, coloring tips, a bit on palettes and color theory, and then a color wheel for you to color in yourself, and a color swatch section. Then we start on with the illustrations. Now, each illustration has a uh, black backed piece of paper with the number or the title of the picture. So this one is Polar Bear and it also gives us the Latin name, Ursus Maritimus. Also with Coloring Heaven books, this side of the page is notes uh, that you can write down about your picture you colored. This one is listed in the form of list of mediums and then notes about the page. Then we have our illustrations and the illustrations in this book are just absolutely gorgeous and they are really unique as well. Each animal is covered in flowers and leaves. <clears throat> now this is a great way for people who don't like to color animals to actually color them and have a uh, and be pleased with the result of the animal because um, you know you're coloring flowers so if you're a flower coloring person you can do these easily the uh, line art is thin so I'm definitely not going to recommend alcohol markers or permanent markers in this. There would just be too much bleed. Gel pens would work, of course, and um, especially the best medium for these is going to be pencils. But um, I'm actually very excited to get to one of these. But I'm just going to have to find somewhere to squeeze it into my coloring schedule. Hopefully I'll be more organized next month and that this can be one of my books in my to-be-colored pile. They're just fantastic. Now this one's quite a little bit more detailed than the others since there's two of the animal. And you'll notice that they don't have great big huge detailed backgrounds. There's a little something there to put the animal in its habitat, but uh, that's also, I find that quite nice. Detailed pictures like this, I find no need to have a detailed background. This is, this one I'm looking forward to doing. I think it's the one on the cover. Yeah, it is. It's funny how, um, I always seem to like the cover picture when I'm looking through. So gorgeous animals from all over the world. And everything from reptiles and amphibians to birds to mammals. This is one that I would like to do as well in um, shades of pink and gray. So I'll, I always love coloring pink elephants. Yeah. Well, 
I think I should have mentioned that the line work is um, open in places. Gorgeous book. And the end of the book just has a couple, oh, one piece of blank paper saying it's an Amazon printed book. So once again, this is Rare and Endangered Plantimals, illustrated by Radana Planka.